So if you do a lot of cups in the F1 Ultra, hopefully this will be one of the most useful videos you've watched so far this year. The kit consists of a long and short front stop, a back stop that is tapered and two rulers. The longer front stop is only used when you have an icon that needs to extend off the bed. The short front stop is the one that you will probably be using about 90% of the time. Now there's one little niggle with this system. I found that the center of my ultra was not dead centered to my machine bed. So the jig's mounting slot had to be adjusted to make sure the center of the jig sits directly under the center of my laser focus. This means that the jigs will have to be used in this configuration and cannot be turned the other way around. To position the cup, I first determine how high my design needs to be from the top and then I move the center stop into position so that the laser lines up with this mark. Remember that this mark will be the center of your design. Now it is as simple as placing the tumbler in place and positioning the rear taper support until your cup is at the desired level. So on cups that have handles, um, currently I just space up the handle until it's in the desired height using offcuts that I have but I am working on an adjustable rest that will make dialing it in very easy. So two problems that I think this jig eliminates is with this way of engraving you don't seem to get that elongated look on round logos like I see so many complain about. And the second and a very big thing is that it's very easy to place a cup in exactly the same position as the previous one. So when you're running large batches, this will really speed things up a lot. Here you can see the process to use the curved surfaces feature. I like to measure my logo size and that is what I input into my calibration size. Now all you need to do is let it finish its calibration and it will give you a report on the surface that it gets. Now you can just select your design and center it and you should be good to engrave. That's it. I hope at least one person out there finds this helpful. As always, the link to the file will be in the description as soon as Excel approves it in our design file. Now go out and make something cool.